Well, I'm just gonna do the usual, which is take the dogs for a walk. It's about 43 degrees on a nice Sunday, sunny. And let's see how this goes. Sit. Sit, stay. Okay. Sit, right there. Sit, hey, magic, come here, sit. We don't go anywhere until I say so, stay. Try and have them come out and sit down so they're not launching out the bed. Sit, sit. They need to be kind of on my terms. 300 pounds of Great Dane, they can't just go heal. Don't want a goofy poodle with a pedigree. No whiny, wimpy little pooch. Don't you see? A great big dog's the only one for me. Then I'll be doing all right. Well, I got him back when he was just a pup. Way back then, I could pick him up. Now he barely fits into That's my pickup. That's what Finn does. <laughs> yes, Magic's got his sweater on. Well, I'm sitting here trying to watch the LSU-Alabama game, and it's 4.35. We're still adjusting to daylight savings time because someone won't leave us alone. Meanwhile, Finn is just beautiful, but Magic, no. What's your problem? What, Magic? What do you want? No, it's real. No, it's serious. What do you want to eat? Is it time to eat? All right, let's go eat. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. It must be all the cooking I'm doing that's getting him hungry. Mm, look at that. Making some lasagna. You are waiting for it. Me too, Scoops Magic, because you're you're very thick. Because he eats my. Oh my God, the drool. There you go, good job. Finn, was it a good night's sleep? How's the new bed? Aww. All right, come on out. All I want to show you guys is one night in the bed, not to claim victory too early, but success. Aww, what a good boy. You guys are awesome. More glorious than a billion sunsets. We were found. Found by the hounds. Good one, huh, Finn? Well, guys, it's uh, 4.33. And uh, ever since daylight savings time, Magic can't figure out that it's not time to eat until five o'clock. I know, but you can't. And we're trying to hold them off. Trying to hold them off. I'm trying to watch the Ohio State Buckeyes pound Rutgers, but this guy just, he does this trick, which is so charming. It just makes you want to take care of him. Oh, puts his, buries his head. Magic, I'm sorry. Probably weighs almost 170 pounds now. Bigger by the day. Yeah, that's you. Well, Finn, just lay in there, Finn. You're not even hungry, are you, Finn? Are you even hungry? No. Okay. All right, wanna eat? I can't wait anymore. It's 4.34, it's the best. Do you wanna eat? Let's go. He says, let's go. And if I fake him out. All right, let's go. It's the fastest he moves. 
Magic just goes right to his stall and says, Oh, please feed me. Good heavens. Good heavens. He's ready to eat. He's got a lot of drool. Okay. Eat, eat dinner, Finn. Good boy, eat your dinner. By the way, the bed is held up tremendously. He loves it. He's mature. No more destroying the bed. So the Karanda reversible fleece pad, thank you very much. It's a success. So we're also trying not to feed him in there so that it doesn't get trashed. So we feed him out here, but the problem is this guy comes and steals it. Magic. You just, that's just who you are. And here's the other good boy. Stay down, don't get excited. He's just so long. No, oh, yeah. You can't resist, can you? They love me. They love me. Good boy, Magic and Finn. That's better. Heel. Good boys. And then we'll have them, ooh, slobber flying. Have them go potty before we get too far. Gorgeous boys. You look so good. All right, Magic. Hang on, wait. Look at what Finn did to him. Oh my God, watch. Now, when I walk him, as you guys know, heel. I always have magic on the outside, fin on the inside, heel. And so, it just seems like they know their place better that way, heel. Heel. So when I'm on a walk like this with the dogs, my head's kind of on a swivel. I want to see if there's other dogs uh, that are going to come up on me that I need to be aware of to make sure I have control over these guys. And really with both Danes like this and Finn sometimes a little reactive, I will go up a driveway to keep about 50 yards from the other dog. As long as I have some distance, they don't react. But if, if we got too close, um, they kind of get each other excited and then I'm dealing with, like I say, 300 pounds of Great Dane who might not be as easily controlled as I would like. And meeting on a leash is not the best environment as I've come to know and I've read about. So that's my world. So we're headed down to the lake park. I'll give them a little time off leash there so they can run and go crazy. Lake's a little bit frozen, still open in some places. Easy. Easy. Heel. This way. No. This way, this way. This way, here. Finn, this way, Magic Finn. Come. Really, this is the most relaxing place to take them. You guys like this park. And it's just amazing to see how Magic is more aggressive than Finn out here in the open. And yet, at home, it's constantly Finn pestering Magic. But the snow has hung around here. Hasn't snowed in five or six days, but this is always in the shade here. 
I hope you guys are enjoying my uploads. Again, I'm trying to put something up on Wednesdays as well as something on the weekend. So this will be up today. I will say Finn's taking a massive dump right now. And so make sure you pick up after your dog. I always bring along dog bags in a container. And uh, boy, nobody wants to see your dog's waste. So make sure you pick it up. of the walk is over. I got them back on leashes just by recalling them. Magic, me easier than Finn, but Finn is worn out, so he will come back. If I never mentioned it, local Eagle Scout Alex Feyman put in all these benches around the lake and they're fantastic. I think there's four of them. And they're really gonna be here a long time and a great tribute. Thanks, Alex. All right, I'm gonna close it out here. I hope you've enjoyed this little walk as well as all the little miscellaneous videos I put in with it. Have yourself a great day. in the neighborhood. Why can't every dog be just as good?